Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome to episode 1 of Crusader Kings 2. I took a bit of time before I started this let's play because I was not yet decided on what country to play and basically had other games that I played more. But here we are. It's awesome, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, we're going to hop into single player because what we are going to be playing here is one of the republics. This is a DLC that they added to the game and I quite like the idea. You have the three Italian ones. You have Genoa, Pisa and Venice. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Genoa, Pisa and Venice. Yep. And uh, these all have kind of a difficult area down here. They work very much against each other. Genoa is supposed to be easier, I think, at 58%, but then you also have Gotland, this little island here. I kind of like the idea. So I'm going to pick that one. It's a bit more difficult, and I have already played a little bit on... Uh, uh, on, from this island, so to say, and yeah, it is kind of difficult, but it's fun. So let's dive straight into this uh, world of uh, trading. So, one moment, and I'll let this load up. All right, we are rolling and in the game. That's awesome. I had to do a few changes, so. Sorry about that, um, but no changes for the game, we're still Gotland. I just had to do a few changes in the way I record. That's no problem though. So, take a look at this. We have the Kingdom of Sweden here. We also have the Finnish states. The Norwegian... I don't know, it's a kingdom. Yes, it is. And, of course, the Kingdom of Denmark. We have Poland and Lithuania and uh, Russia and everything. We do have to watch out for the hordes here, but mm, shouldn't be a problem. Now, the Republic. This is a bit different from how you play this game. And, I'll be honest, I don't know all the details. Um, some of you might be sitting there throwing things at the screen and yelling at me. But that's fine. <laughs> I'll figure things out, and uh, if you have any suggestions, ideas, you know how to get in touch. Just drop me a message, alright? Or comment on the, on, um, on the video. So, we are here, Gotland. We have little Åland. No, Åland and Öland. And uh, we have Sarema. So, let's get... Let's take a look at the family. Who am I? Well, I'm Botsten. And I am the Grand Mayor of Gotland. I'm the patrician of the house, uh, Stenshuka, which means Stone Church, of the church. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm also heir to the Barony of uh, Autumn. I wonder what that is. Um, oh, that's not the one. Um, how do you look at that? Let's uh, find uh, what's the no, not find characters. There we go. That barony. Oh, it's here. Oh, it's one of the towns here. Well, it's actually a castle. Okay, so I'm the heir of that. Does that mean I can build stuff here? Interesting. Uh, well, I do have these holdings. Um, Perfect. Okay, so I have an heir. Um, he's my brother and he's young. I'm also very young and that's not good in this. You need to be old to succeed, uh, basically. Uh, it's a bit odd, but uh, the older you are, the better in this game. So, we're gonna have to work on that, I suppose. I'm cynical, wrath. And I'm also chaste, ambitious, that's very good. And I'm a dutiful cleric, which means learning is better. That's good. Um, I'm reigning in Visby. And my wife, Ilva, 
is happy of me. That's good. Um, it's not liked by my... L what? I don't like my wife? Okay, well, I don't know. Um, I have seven vassals. These are of the other houses. Uh, we have... Oh, not all of them. Um, this is actually my bishop. That's good. Um, let's take a look at the houses. <coughs> we have my house, Stenshika. We have Guldsmith, which is the goldsmith. That's uh, one of the houses. Heinum. Heinum? I have no idea. Gildusen, which uh, is... Where are they? They are... He has what? Steward, patrician. I don't think he has any land. But we can find out where they are trading. He's trading down from Bornholm. That's interesting. And uh, Goldsmith is trading out of Elan. We have Hainum out of Sarima. And uh, who's trading? Who's the last one? Did I miss someone? Strobian. He is training. Trading? Training? Out of. Let's take a look at the trade zone for the families. Um, they don't have anything. Oh, wait. He has the Gulf of Finland, does Yes, Strobian. He's trading out of Caliban. That's fine. Strobian is going to be a bit of a challenge. He has a lot of respect. That's how it works in this. Uh, you build up respect by being old and having money in the campaign fund, or having a lot of prestige. Or all of them. The last one is probably the best. All of them. Um, we are going to aim for setting up a new trade post, though, and I'm going to start by going for Denmark, I think. It's expensive, so we're going to have to save up money. To do that, we need to set our council to work and start doing some things here. We're going to have to get a bit more improved relations with our lord, since we're going to trade with them. Lord Tengil, the Liberator. Okay, he does not like me. He's the Lord of Otem. Oh, I understand why he doesn't like me. It's because apparently I'm an infidel. Am I of another religion? I'm Catholic. And he... Where is he? He is Norse. Well, he is the pagan. So we are going to send our bishop to convert the populace of Gotland back to... Uh, well, most of them should be Catholic. But maybe he can do that with him. Um, I want... My spymaster is also my wife. Um, she needs to do a little bit of scheming here. She needs to figure out, yes, I know, if there's anyone scheming against me. Um, this guy, if I do oversee construction, it'll go faster. I will do that when uh, we start building our trade post. But for now, let's go collect taxes. Um, he could train some troops. Or just... Research military. Nah, train troops. That's all of them. They have things to do. Let's see at our messages. In our kingdom, what's going on here? In Sweden, King Stenshil wants Prince Inge, which is his son, I think. Uh, yes, he's now favored as the heir of Sweden. And uh, now for the messages that I sent my troops um, to do stuff. Prince Erik. He's the heathen. He is not a fan of uh, me. <laughs> he has Gotland, which is okay, but there will be a war. Also, Duke Sven is of Stjotland, I think. Yep. And uh, he does not like his relation to... 
okay. Um, he likes the king and he likes uh, Prince Ingus the heir as well, that's fine. And a lot of people want the son of the king to be the next king, that's usually the way it goes. I need to make sure, well, this is something we'll see a lot. I would lose the grand city of Gotland. I would also lose the Republic if I die or on succession. That's because, um, uh, of course, him being my vassal now, he's the one with the most respect. Um, he does not like me. <laughs> uh, that's fine, though. So I need to piss these guys off a bit. I don't like the fact that he does not like me, so let's um, give him the State Inquisitor title. Nah. I don't have a child yet, do I? I do. He's only zero, so he's very young. He's 14. I'm not gonna arrange. Actually, let's arrange a marriage for him. Um, we're gonna look for someone with. Oh, interesting. Gregarious as well. Oh, look at that. Well, she's a commander, but she's got intrigue. Wow, look at that. This could be in case uh, I die. I will probably succeed to Halgir. Uh, Halgarir. So let's marry him off to her. Yeah, he would get a lot of prestige from that. We do not gain any alliance, that's fine. Okay, so, I need an ambition. Um, I can't do any of these amass. I could probably improve my intrigue. Because my intrigue is 7. Doing these little things is kind of fun because um, it's um, it gives you these random events. So hopefully we'll get some cool things. Let's look at the laws. Uh, I can't do so much on the... Uh, it's always going to be patrician elective. Yeah. Only males. It's how it works. I'm going to leave this as... It is. For this... Mm, church infrastructure... What does that give us? Improves the church. Let's do the town infrastructure. And... Uh, cultural flexibility... Town opinion, castle opinion. Yeah, that's not that bad. We can leave it on that. But I do want to go for infantry melee weapons. Okay. I think we're ready to start. Or, well, unpause. Let's uh, tick ahead a little bit and see what's happening. Okay. This is also kind of new in the game. Um, factions. Uh, let's see if I can find them. There we go. Prince Eric has asked to um, well he has started a faction to uh, install himself on the throne of Sweden he will fail You're only allowed to lead two factions choose wisely um, take a look Wow independence um, Nah, let's not do any advanced plotting for now. Oh, nice. They are betro betrothed. Betrothed? Yeah, betrothed. That's good. We'll have a marriage. That means he will get a lot of prestige. Nice. Um, limited crown authority. Your status as my vassal entitles you to vote on the mat matter. Okay, well, I'll approve the limited one. It will take a few of my 
Uh, oh, he took over Dahl. Oh, a new heir? Okay. There are a lot of plots. Like this one. I don't like him, so I could kill him. But, nah, not gonna do that yet. We will be plotting to, uh, to take over these places later. And... Yeah, let's take a look here. Lately, I've been afraid that someone might want to hurt me. I'm thinking about hiring a... No, two food tasters and maybe a bodyguard would be a good idea. I would get paranoid, which reduces my diplomacy, but increases intrigue or trusting, which is the opposite. Ooh. Paranoid. They're out to get me. Okay, well... Fair enough, I fulfilled that ambition. I need a new one. Can I, well, improve diplomacy? Fair enough. Wow, I would get a lot of prestige. I also got lots from that. That's 100 prestige. Wow. Cynical and paranoid. Look at my intrigue. Well, actually, it's not that good. It's all because of the wrath. Yeah, we know about this, so dismiss for now. How can he get... Oh, no, no. I'm ill. Will I die within the first few minutes? Um, looks like we're gonna have Prince Hunston. Whew. I heard that. Prince Hunston. He's now the heir instead of Prince Inge. Oh, look at that. My wife is pregnant. That's good. And not good because we don't want to big a family because big families means a lot of people to pay in the end but yeah let's see my beloved wife Ilva is constantly bored and keeps talking about the new fashion she has heard about now she wants me to introduce it at court uh, my money is your money darling vanity is a sin let's go to the church zealous uh, this is my money you're talking about greedy I'll be charitable. Yes. Oh, that improved my diplomacy. Wow. Let's uh, hope to have a daughter. Actually, now we could probably... Yeah, have a daughter. Let's hope for that. It's late December, 66, and we have the new year kind of slow going in the beginning this game. Uh, I'm just building up money for now. Um, we do need to keep an eye on what these guys do. I have the biggest advantage with the highest base income here. So that's good, but oh, look at that. Now it's a civil war in Sweden. Let's look at the independent realms. He took this one to this one. Yeah. Uh, he took this area here and Erland and is now going to war against Sweden. That's alright, I suppose. Um, I could set up a trade post here or here, but... This is a more wealthy area. Yeah, I knew they would do that. Let's see how the war goes. Thing is, I could probably raise my army and help him out. Um. Let's do that, shall we? Let's uh, embark. So, where are you going? Here. I can 
go there? Why not there? Okay, let's go there. Okay. Now this army here, can they move over there? Yes, they will be there in a couple of days. They will rout this army. Very nice. Now, go and help our king. You can get there in time. Before the battle ends. Probably not. Oh well. Um, he imprisoned someone. Probably part of the army here, yeah. Let's um, proceed there and join the fight. Maybe siege. Oh, nice. It's probably not good for... Okay, let's go. What? I went to battle? I died in battle. I lost Gotland. So be it. Ilva is now my regent. Okay. That's, um... Not so very good. I'm young. But I'll soon be married. What happened to my army? Okay. Huh. Okay, so now we're in a bit of a um, problematic situation here. Um, we don't have any trade zones, do we? We do, but... Okay, um, hold on now. Wait, did he just do that? No, it's not him. Okay, so, um, that's a bit of an annoyance. But I'm fine with that. We can live with it. It's the way this game works. You have to adapt. Let's stand up. Stand down our armies. Um, he needs to get a court. So basically we need to do a little bit of nobles to court. That's four of them, that should be enough. We need a chancellor. They're the ones with diplomacy and uh, he's good enough I suppose. Yeah, we need a marshal. He does not like me at all. Because of my uh, short reign, yeah. Um, I need a steward. I also need... Well, I have a spy master and I can't change that. That's fine. Oh dear lord, my mother hates me. Um, so, how do we get these guys to like me? He can get master of the horse. Should make him a bit more happy. Yeah. Um... Honorary title. Cupbearer. I want to keep the marshal happy and steward happier. Um, can I do anything here? No. Maybe she'll like me more. Ah. Just handing out the titles. Then we'll get some prestige from that, I suppose. Oh, I don't like that. Very bad. But we'll carry on. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, hmm. 
I suppose. Nephew, yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to live with that. Come on. So, how's the siege going here? Well, you see, 12% on the war score. Yeah. I'm not earning a lot of money. And there we go. They built their first trade post. Ah. I need 200 to build there. I need 200 there. We're going to be very short against uh, these guys here. It's um, Goldsmith. But we're going to have to live with that. Oh, 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 oh. Almost forgot. Chancellor. Uh, improve relations with our king. You should train troops. You should collect taxes. We need the money. And you can continue converting the populace. Good. Right. I think this is going to be the end of this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I have. And uh, I'm going to save this now. And... Uh, uh, continue in the next episode of Crusader Kings 2 Gotland. Oh yes. And as always guys, remember, comment, like and subscribe for more cool episodes. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.